using Skype. Um, yeah, that's not fun. Uh, you can join uh, different groups that are nearby. There's a list that you can just join from. And if you don't you want to use the app, you can also use SMS to send messages to it and receive them as well through SMS. It's mostly used to open uh, for open lines communication or for business and meetings for more of a formal setting. Yes. Uh, so Groovy is available on three different platforms. Uh, it's an app on the Apple and Android phones, and then you can use the website if you're on a computer. Um, they don't have like a downloadable app for the computers. So I know some people like to download things, some don't. So you have to pay for it. There is no amount money costs to use in the app or the website version. You also have, don't have to deal with any ads on the software. You only have to just give them your cell phone number, email, name, and your birthday for when you access this app. Now GroupMe has a couple features, or many features. Um, some of the most notable, notable ones are the ability to create polls. This allows you to you know, see how your group uh, is thinking and what you know, you'd prefer. Uh, you also have the ability to uh, share your location. Uh, this is only if you want to and send it to somebody so they can know where you're at. Um, there's also video calls, um, but again, it's through Skype, so it's you know, through another uh, software. And you can have up to 500 participants. Um, not sure why you would need that many people in one call, but you can do it. Um, and you can also have dis disappearing messages. Uh, if you guys know Snapchat, it's kind of like that. Um, as well as you know some of the like little features where you can create gifts and memes and such. Uh, so as far as the drawbacks go, all of them fall under the realm of it being completely outdated. There's no encryption. There's a file share size limit that's very small. You have to use Skype, which also means you have to have an external platform in order to have video calls. And it's also just not widely adopted, probably for these reasons. So it's not getting a lot of updates because no one really. So what's your recommendation? Don't use it. Oh, all right. Well, that's fair. Folks, we have questions for group one on the use of GroupMe. No? Okay, fantastic. Thank you.